morning and welcome back to my channel I'm here with a how I laid my lace front wigs video for you all um, I've been wearing a lot of lace wigs lately and a lot of people have been asking me how do I install them myself and do my baby hairs and everything so I want to do this quick video it's gonna be very short quick and to the point so first of all the wig that I got is by a company out of Ohio called glorious trusses and glam it came out of a box like this and my wig came in a box, but I already took it out and customized it and everything. And she gave me some flexi rods in the box and also the stock card. And I'll just read it. Um, this is the, the lace front collection. It's 12 inches. And this is a special request wig, which is a blonde wig with brown roots. I'm not sure what the texture is of the hair. So once I fit, find that information out, I'll link it below for you all so you can all check out this website and I just love this she has her own her paper with her own logo on it and then there's some pink tissue paper in here as well but this box is like amazing and it took I think about three business days for me to actually get this wig and again I just want y'all to see this box this box is amazing so I'm going to show you all the wig and mind you I've never done a blonde wig so this will be my first time so this is the wig and please don't come from my wig head it is over 20 years old probably like 30 years old or more so this is the wig I've already plucked the lace a little bit in the middle and also in the front and I've already cut some of the baby hairs so what I use to lay my lace wig down is I use the got to be glued gel I use that I use my rat tail comb I have a toothbrush and I also have a teasing comb I use these to lay my edges down but I don't like to use the got to be glue for my edges because it seems like it's so stiff and I can't move them once they set after a few days because I like to switch my baby hairs up a little bit so I like to use the let's jam protein and shine mega gel um, I got this for two dollars at Walmart and y'all, I love this gel. As you can see, I do not have much left at all. I've been using it like crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my wig go. Oh, take my hair off. So I actually have my hair cornrowed underneath. And this is it right here. And usually I just take it and try to pin it to like one side. Like do half this side. Oh god, that's not working. Okay, so I'm gonna just pin it up in the back right here. And that'll be fine. Okay, so let me just show y'all the construction of the wig. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put my got to be glue on, and then while that's setting, I'm gonna show you all the construction of the wig. So I just take the back of my toothbrush. And I don't like to wear a wig cap under my wig, but if you want to, you're more than welcome to because the wigs have combs in them. But here's, um, I have a mirror right here and I'm just gonna go and place this right on my hairline. And I don't mind putting it on my hairline because I know how to properly remove it. And I just put a thin layer right across my hairline. And this is a lace front, so I'm only just gonna do it around the front. Even when I wear a full lace wig, I do not secure the back. I only secure the front. And I just want you all to know that I have already been wearing like an oil blend underneath my scarf for the past couple of days. So I want to make sure that my scalp is nice and moisturized and hydrated underneath this wig because I intend on wearing it for a few days before I take it off and reinstall it. a little bit more right here and I have a mirror right here so that's why I keep looking over here okay so there's the glue then I'll take a little bit of my silk element soft holding spray and I got this years ago I'm not even sure if it's still in a bottle like this and I just take a little bit and just spray it over the got to be glue now sometimes I'll use a blow dryer and just let it get tacky but most of the times I don't I just let the air hit it or I'll fan it a little bit but I'm going to show you all the construction of this wig while I wait on that to set so in the wig there are three combs here's one one at this each on each side and there's one in the top like in the crown 
and then you have one at the nape of the neck the neck excuse me then there's also the strap and i've never had a strap in my wig but it actually came sewn into the wig and i actually liked it but i have to try it out and see how i like it once i lay my wig down and wear it for a few days i'm not sure how that's going to work out for me but i'm just gonna take this and kind of fan it a little bit more and so far i like the construction of the wig and i like to lay my wig before i put my makeup on guys at first i used to put my wig on after but all the makeup will get caught up in the wig and i don't like that so what I usually do is I take and I can't find any but I take some hair clips most of the time and just clip back the front parts of the hair so when I lay it down I won't mess anything up I'm gonna just go ahead and throw this bad boy on so the back in place the combs because I like to use the combs in the back for security oh this color is pretty and then I'll take this clip and kind of clip this hair back take another one clip this side back and excuse the noise y'all I'll stay right beside the laundry room in my house and someone is washing clothes so now just take it and make sure you fix your lace so it's not balled up like mine just was and make sure you pull all your baby hairs out and just lay it right on your hairline and adjust each side pull it down and then I take the end of my comb or I take the end of my teasing brush and I just I'll take my fingers a little bit and pull it down, but then I mostly use the back of my comb. Reason being because if you touch, I hope y'all can see that. If you touch that glue, sometimes it'll turn white on you. And if you have to keep readjusting your wig to get it to how you want it, please do so. And just so y'all know, I cut the lace off um, last night when I put my wig on the head. Okay, so once I get that on there and it looks good enough for me. And then sometimes I still use my fingers, so you can barely even tell I got anything on. If it wasn't blown, you'd be like, bitch, that's your hair. But I'm going to pull this back a little bit more. And then I'm going to use my... Let's jam again. I'm gonna use this to lay down my little bit of baby hairs in the front. And I'm not good at baby hairs, so I'm gonna do the best that I can. And I'm gonna just, I already took my razor comb and cut some. So I'm gonna just take it and just, just lay it right under here. And if some of my hair get caught up in it, some of my wig, it's okay because the way that I'm gonna wear it, it's, it'll be fine. Now when I decide to pull it up, then I'll be, you know, more concerned with how it looks, how the baby hairs look. And I'll probably wear it in this style for a few days before I decide to take it off. And then I see like my wig is lifting on this side. So I'll just pull it back and press it. And if you ever have times where like your wig pops up, I usually just go back in with a little more of the got to be glue use my trusty scarf to tie all of that down and I try my hardest not to get the rest of the hair caught up on the hairline because that's not always good sometimes your hair gets stuck to the glue so I just take it and just tie it like this okay so 
that's how I lay my wigs. Y'all, I'm not good at this editing thing, so I'm gonna try to add pictures at the end or put another video in at the end where I have it all the way on with my makeup and everything on. And I'm probably gonna leave it tied up like this while I do all of my, my brows and my eye makeup, and then I'll take it off and come back and take some pictures or something and hopefully i can insert it down below if not i'll put my instagram down below and you can definitely check out my instagram to see how everything came out but this is how i lay my wigs it's probably not the best way to do it but i like it it works for me so if you have any questions at all please comment down below thank you all so much for watching thank you for your patience because i know i have not been consistent but at the top of the year the top of 2018 i plan on being very consistent and getting videos out to you all because i'll have a little bit more time to do so so thank you all